plenty forward. Richards joins the attack. Doherty was the target. And away rather hurriedly by Chris Bart Williams. And Spurs have an opportunity to bring Anthony Gardner forward. Richards is in a congested penalty box. The corner will be taken by Christian Seeger. Now can Spurs make something of this set piece? Seeger's corner kick. Almost finding the head of Anthony Gardner, just couldn't divert it past Dean Kiley. Still a chance for Tottenham with Davis. Looking for the one-two with Sheringham. And Davis is in on goal! It's a wonderful strike from Simon Davis. A neat one-two. And absolutely nothing Dean Kiley could do about that. They'll celebrate that. Kiley beaten all ends up. And Davis celebrates Tottenham's opener tonight at the Valley. Well, played in by Ziga. Lovely one-two there. And Davis in on goal. And the white foot strike was just too good and too clean for Dean Kiley. Well crafted goal there by Tottenham. Alan Kirbishley, who last season saw his team complete the league double over Tottenham. Jensen. Come back well as Charlton looked to penetrate. Bart Williams threw the ball it's towards Johansson. It'll come to Kishishev. And smartly down by Casey Keller. Another important save. Where goalkeeper who's really in top form at the moment, Casey Keller. It was hit smartly as it came to Kishishev, and the keeper was equal to the challenge. The ball is on the end of it. Not come to Kaczewski, who was forward again. And Keller with an excellent save from Kishishev. Not the first time that the Tottenham keeper's been called into action. Really enjoying his role now in the Tottenham first team. He came out to Kishishev on his right foot, went for the corner. And Keller reacted superbly. And Kerbishley, plenty to ponder as we head towards the break. Spurs looking for a second. The red map it was. Jamie Redknapp with the opportunity. They attempted to make it two goals out of two games, but well wide of the mark. It's Charlton's new recruit, Alex, and plenty of interest in his arrival at the Valley. There's the Japanese contingent following his every move. An interested spectator watching his new employers as is the manager, Alan Kirbishley, will want a dramatic improvement. They've created chances, but so far Spurs are hanging on to that one goal lead. That might change now with Jason Yule and Keller's out. Now Kincheski just couldn't follow up. Away by Tarico and Charlton threatening early on through Jason Yule. Well, it open up for Yule and again Keller smartly off his line. Still sat high in the stands, Glenn Hoddle. He wants his team to improve uh, on a dismal away record in the Premiership last season. And the early signs were encouraging. It's another Tottenham corner. There are five white shirts in that area for Ziga to aim towards. And on the line was Gardner. Kylie was there, and it's gone behind for a second successive corner. Charlton keeper under real pressure. And again, the danger turned out to be Anthony Gardner. Just on the line there.
Redknapp with a neat flick and then the return ball and Tottenham on the counter. Sheringham's through ball and they're in for a second goal and that could be a penalty. Kylie's challenge. And instead, it's gone the way of Charlton. Well, he's been penalised for in the referee's eyes diving. Yellow cards for Simon Davis. Well, there was the challenge by Kylie. Yule getting the better of Tariko. Here's Jason Yule. And Keller again to the rescue for Tottenham. Didn't do a lot wrong, did he, Jason Yule? And Keller reacting splendidly to push that behind. Corner. Just to have worked off that earlier injury after lengthy treatment, Jonathan Fortune. Spurs then go in search for a second. Dock at his flick on. Away by Luke Young. Still not clear. It's an opportunity which is rather wasted there by Matthew Edrington. Just couldn't keep the rising shot down. Sheringham involved again. It dropped kindly. And Edrington just too high. It's Brown. And with that, possibly, goes Charlton's best hopes of a late equaliser. Speculative shots from distance and... Charlton face up to... A second Premiership defeat. Tottenham celebrate victory courtesy of a wonderful first half strike from Simon Davis. Charlton, who completed the league double over their London opponents last season, but it's Tottenham who avenged that and start with an impressive record in the Premiership. They remain unbeaten. Victories over Aston Villa and Charlton, the draw at Everton, and a promising start to Glenn Hoddle's campaign. Alan Kirbis Lee, defeat number two of the Premiership campaign. Any complaints with that one tonight? Well, not really. I think um, Spurs have come here and they've worked ever so hard, really hard, pressurised this. But, you know, we've let another goal in after five minutes. And I think um, it's happened too many times last year. So we're always fighting to come back. And uh, what Spurs done then, after they got their lead, their game plan was there. They got behind the ball, asked us to try and break them down. We couldn't. Uh, and when they won it back, they, they, they broke with pace. We resorted to long balls up front and, you know, Gardner and Richards just gobbled it all up. So it was a very disappointing first half. I think uh, second half we got, got in it a little bit more. Um, but the game peaked out. We're the home team and we're the ones that have got forced the issue. So how concerning, because it's very early on, isn't it, but there's two defeats out of three and well, do you look first, at that and yeah, worry? The first defeat is uh, it's very difficult to, to, to perhaps gauge, you know. We was winning 2-0 with ten men and for now in five minutes we had to battle one and you know, got done in the last couple of minutes. Uh, if we'd have won that game, who knows? Uh, but we've played um, three games. We've played two teams that expect to be in the top six here. On a fault, and uh, we'll come up with no points, but it's a long season, and um, you know, we've just got to get on with it. And a busy week left for you, isn't there? Because there's the Koncheski appeal, and in terms of the transfer window closing, what, what yeah, news? I think it's a, uh, obviously the Koncheski thing is added a uh, bit to the workload, but uh, you know, we're our money the same as any other Premiership manager or any other nationwide manager. We you know we're all jostling around trying to do something, and we'll have to see if we can do it. Um, hopefully, we can.